All right, today we're going to look at the tapered pin slot. Uh, this one, the diagram for, or the, the working drawing for this is a little bit different um, just because of the setup and the way that this drawing um, is laid out. We have the front view here, which you can see up here. We have the right side here, and then we have the top view up here. We also, um, for this one, have MMGS for the units, and we have an A, B, and C. A is uh, 50 for this one right here and B is 60 and C is 25. So we're going to start this one on the front plane. So we're going to go front plane sketch. This one is going to be set up in MMGS. Good. And then we're going to start this with two center lines, one vertical and then one horizontal. And these are just guidelines. These are just construction lines for us to be able to draw um, what we need to draw. Uh, go right here on the origin. We're going to draw a circle. Again, A was 50. That's the radius. So that means the diameter is going to be 100. There we go. And then what we're going to do next is we're just going to draw in this shape. So we can see our center line goes right up here and then right through here. So we know that this vertical line here has to be just a little bit left of the center line. It comes below the center line. And then we're going to just finish out this shape. So I'm, again, I'm going to start just to the left of the center line, go directly below it over here to the right, back here, and then just a little bit past this line, and then down. So you can see our base shape, and now we're going to start putting some dimensions on here. Um, the B is very important, so the place people mostly mess up is they take B from the top of the arc of the circle, or the quadrant of the circle, which is just a little bit higher than this point which will throw your entire part off if you do it that way. So you need to set some other dimensions in here. So for instance, this one right here is going to be 10. We can see that right there. We have 10. Um, the height from the center line down from here is going to be B, but we are not going to set that one quite yet. So we have 20 on the width, 15 on the height, and 40 on the width there. So let's go ahead and do that one. So we have 20 on the width, we have 15, and then we have 40, and then we're going to trim out the pieces we don't need anymore, so we don't need that, 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 and don't need that. Now we can go ahead and do that B dimension, which is 60. This 10 right here looks a little off, so what it looks like it did is it did a, a symmetrical dimension. So I'm going to select on this. I'm going to go from here to here. And that is what happened. So I accidentally, when, I, when you do this, it does allow you the option of doing what's called a symmetrical dimension. This is a good learning point right here. If you have your mouse to the right of the center line, it's going to make it 10 on each side of the center line. What we actually wanted right here was we wanted 10 in between the center line and that line. So we actually wanted this 10. There we go. Which should give that. There we go. So a symmetrical dimension would have been 20 on that. And again, you can see that right there. There's that vertical line. 10. 5 is going to be that little notch that we're going to put in this, but we're not doing that quite yet. Um, we can see this does have a radius of 10. We can go ahead and put that in there if we want. So we can do a fillet of 10. There we go. Everything else on here looks pretty good. Da, 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 da. Just making sure this is all looking pretty good. Nope, 20 is not right. So 20 again. 20 was from here to here. There we go. That looks a little bit better. All right, 
20s from there to there, 15. Everything else is looking pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and extrude this. And again, on this one, we want to extrude away from us. Looking at the dimensions here, we can see this total width is 115. But what we're extruding right now is actually from here to here. So we can see 10, 80, 10, that's going to be 100. Or we can just simply say, okay, that little bump out there is 15, as we can see there. So 115 minus 15 is 100. There we go. All right, back to this front plane sketch. We're going to first draw in this little rectangle here. I'm going to undo that because I don't know if you saw what I did right there, but when I was drawing it, I accidentally grabbed on this reference point, and I don't want to do that because it will lock onto that. So I'm going to go from here to here. We know this is 5. We saw that earlier. And there we go, 5. We can see it's 20 wide. Um, we can also see it's 15 tall. So we can go and put those dimensions on there. So we can go, this is 15 tall. It is 20 wide. And can we see a dimension from the top? It looks like it's 15 from the top as well. So if I go from here to here, 15, there we go. Features, extrude boss. And we have done one previously like this, so this is um, just kind of reiterating that process. Um, so we know we do have to come out 10 from this edge and another 10 from this edge. We know the entire thing's 100 across, so we just have to do a little bit of math right here. So we know coming this way, we're going 10. There we go. Second direction, we're going 110 because we have to bump out 10. There we go. Looking pretty good there. All right, back to that front plane sketch. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to create this little bump out here. But I really want to redraw a lot of these features right here. But instead of having to redraw them, I'm just going to hit select on the face itself and hit convert entities. And it's going to recreate all those exterior lines right there for me, which is fantastic that I don't have to redraw them myself. I'm going to go ahead and draw my diagonal line. Smart dimension. This was 5. And my angle here was 12. Again, going back to this, we can see that 5. We can see the 12 degree. Now, I can go ahead and features extrude boss. And there are actually two shapes on here. There's one here and one here. You could take the time to cut all this out. That's up to you. Um, if you're trying to go a little bit faster, it's really not a necessary step uh, because we do already have that sketch. It's just going to fade into the background. That's up to you. I don't know why this is. There we go. 15. It's looking pretty good there, though. All right. We're going to click on the front face of this because what we're going to do next is this cutout. And we're going to start on the front face. It's really hard to start on the back side of this or the top and get this exactly right. So we're going to start on this front face sketch. And we are going to draw a rectangle. And I'm just going to come down and through that. We can see we have C, which is 25, and 30. 30 from the edge, 25 wide. And if I do the measurement here, it's 15, 15, 10. So that is 40 deep. So let's go ahead and put all of those dimensions on. So we have from here to here was 30. This was 25. From here to here was 40. And this is really important that it goes from that top edge, not the top edge of the rectangle, but the top edge of the object, 40. And then extrude cut. We're just going to go through all. It's looking pretty solid right there. Okay, so 30, 25, everything's looking good there. All right, last little bit we have to do is this cut right here. This is just a straight slot. You can see it's 80 millimeters wide. 
10 from each edge, 10 um, millimeters wide. Now we can actually see a, another dimension, 10 right here, meaning it's 10 from this edge to the center. So we have lots of 10s here. So sketch, I'm just going to draw this in and then slap some dimensions on here. So we know this is 80. If I go from here to here, this is 10. Now this, I shouldn't even have to put this dimension on because this is already 90, which means from here to here should automatically be 10. So it's going to say make this uh, dimension driven. No, we don't want to do that. We do want to make it from here to here 10. And then the center here to the edge 10. And the last step right here is to go ahead and cut this thing out through all. And there is our pin channel, tapered pin slot, sorry, tapered pin slot. Looks a lot like the, the, the pin channel here, but um, I get these two confused all the time. They are a lot different drawings, um, but there's a lot of similarities as well. Uh, Material-wise, go ahead and put your material on. Um, again, for this one, this one's going to be titanium when you add your material. And make sure you go ahead and put that in there for your... Uh, your mass um, properties. Other than that, if you have any questions, please reach out and we'll move on to the next one.